Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we're on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time, and then I'm writing a short devotion on each chapter and sharing that with you. Today we're in John chapter 16. Have you ever been confused by all the different teachings out there about the Holy Spirit? Let's keep it simple and read what Jesus says about the Holy Spirit in John chapter 16. Here are a couple snapshots just to get you started on your journey. Jesus teaches in verses 7 to 8, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Just a quick thought there, the Holy Spirit's called the Helper. And also you, you'll see that the pronoun is him. So one of my pet peeves is when people call the Holy Spirit it. Uh, the Holy Spirit is the third person of the Trinity, uh, a, a person of God. And so him is appropriate. So Jesus continues in verses 13 to 14. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all the truth, for he will not speak on his own authority. But whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, for he'll take what is mine and declare it to you. So the, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to pray for you uh, according to the teachings of Jesus about the Holy Spirit. May the Holy Spirit convict you of sin, righteousness, and judgment so that you may live a holy life to exalt the name of Jesus to the glory of the Father. May the Holy Spirit teach you and remind you of all that Jesus taught so that your life may bring glory to the name of Jesus by which a person can be saved. May the Holy Spirit bring glory to Jesus in your life through the visible evidence of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in your character. And we pray that according to Galatians 5, 22 to 23. And may the Holy Spirit equip you for your ministry through the gifts of the Holy Spirit according to Romans 12, 1 through 8 and 1 Corinthians 12 through 14. And I pray all this for you for the exaltation of Jesus Christ through the power of the Holy Spirit to the glory of the Father through your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Seize the moment and walk in the Spirit. Seize the moment.